Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good wherever you are. I'm JP and welcome to Brizzy. An update just rolled out for the Brizzy AI Builder and this will allow you to do a few regenerations before you even send that page out to Brizzy. I'm going to use Firefox for a change. I like to always switch it up, make my life more difficult. Why not? And one thing you may not know is that you don't have to be logged in. Any person can use the Brizzy AI Builder. It's a great way to give people an idea of what the AI Builder can do. Naturally, you can access the AI Builder from within Brizzy Cloud, but you can also just go to ai.brizzy.io. And without any fanfare, it takes us into the AI Brizzy Builder. Let's quickly build a page and then we're going to generate it and then I'll show you what this change of on-page regeneration or individual components and individual sections are all about. I'm going to just use Google My Business and I'll use a site place here in Stellenbosch near me so I know how it looks and it should have the right pictures. And the great thing about the Google My Business feature is it brings in the information as well as the images. And let's go ahead and build the website. We are also working on a course that will be out very shortly and will update it regularly for the Brizzy AI Builder so that all the new features that have rolled out recently, you can find it all in one place. If you've watched the keynote from Dimi a week or so ago on the future for 2025, you'll also be very excited to know that there are great features coming for the Brizzy AI Builder that includes multi-page pages and that also will allow us to generate images as well as individual sections. It's not really a butcher, it's actually a restaurant just called the Fat Butcher, one of the best places and uh, I do have to say very very nice. Now what we can do like before if we go here to the bottom right hand corner you will see we have these regeneration options titles, images, topography, colors, and the entire page. Now, in this case, I actually don't like the color. So let's see if I hit the colors, if it will give me something a little bit different. This is going to run through the AI Builder again and gives us the entire page with a new color scheme. But now you can go to individual elements. Let's call it elements and sections on this page and do regeneration by regeneration. Let's start with our heading over here. And as I hover over it, you'll notice the dotted bounding box. Click on it and it's going to give you the option to regenerate. And once you click this, it will give you a new option for the heading. Just remember there's no undo in this setup here. If you really don't like what you see here and you don't think you want to improve on it within the Brizzy Builder and you want to have a different idea, go ahead, click on regenerate. And wow, savor unforgettable stakes and impeccable service. And you can just continue and continue. And the great thing about Google My Business, it will keep going back to what it can find about your business online. And it will try to give you something that fits testimonials, information, and the images. Let's see below this, we have a little tagline here. Let's select that. And that's it. So you can go through these different parts on your page and just keep regenerating those areas that you don't like and fine tune them a little bit more to the product you are looking for before you go to edit and publish within Brizzy. By the way, Stephen, that's not all. Let's talk about this little icon that's appearing whenever we go to a section. And this will allow you, let's use this one, great one here, to regenerate the entire section, title and text, or images, not, not just the entire section. You have two options here. Let's start you with titles and text, and that's going to regenerate everything for us here. And again, nothing much I can say about it. Great way of regenerating it. If I have a section with more images, let's see if we can find one with more images. This one is not going to give me more than one image at a time, but it's going to do that. I'll go to the section and just say images and it will regenerate and use any of those images on Google My Business. If you are not using Google My Business, it's just going to use some stock images. Also, great. The images though, if you have a specific image within the section that you would like to regenerate, uh, up for this one, let's click on this one. You're going to get the regenerate button there as well. 
with the section regenerate if you have more than one image it's going to regenerate all of them let's just select this regenerate so that you see that's also going to work what is really nice here if you have a section like this that includes testimonials and these are real testimonials that came from google business again this is a google my business feature you can regenerate this and it will bring in a different one if you have many testimonials and reviews there some of them may not always be that great so you want to regenerate and get a better one in for those you can go through those depending on what the ai has done and choose which ones work for you just a few observations certain things it will not regenerate a map for example is a map right your telephone number is your telephone number your location those things that are locked in that is part of your business will not be regenerated but the rest of it will give you that little bit of flexibility just to play around and see if you can come up with something more to your liking before you go ahead then and hit the button here on edit and publish with Brizzy. And of course, as I am within Firefox and I don't usually work within my Brizzy Pro account for cloud from here, I will need to log in if I want to go ahead and make those changes within the Brizzy Builder. That is the latest update to the AI Builder. Great news for the world of AI. All AI rejoice. From my side, JP, I'll see you in the next video. Until then, you can visit us at brizzy.io.